Okay, so boom, that time dude thought he was gonna <laughs> run off with pops. So boxing, now everybody familiar with my pops flunky, who, which is tiny. And now and then he thought I was his flunky, but what he didn't know was if he kept playing me like a flunky, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna go on in two pieces, you know what I'm saying? But my pops, he only let uh, his flunky deal with the nickel and diamond, you know what I'm saying? When it came to certain amounts of money, like five hundred or better, you know what I'm saying? Tiny would most definitely have to screw. Pull up, you know what I'm saying, let my daddy aware of who it is, you know what I'm saying, and what they trying to spend, you know what I'm saying. And then for some reason, my daddy always felt like, I don't know what was up with my pops half of the time. You know what I'm saying? He most definitely, I, he wasn't instituting like, my daddy thought he was a mob boss at times. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to screen folks and search folks and see if they weren't wise. Now, I don't know what kind of traumatic experience my daddy went through, you know what I'm saying, before I got to him or where he was. I don't know what the penitentiary was like back in the day, but my guy most definitely thought he was a uh, connected to chop on them. He felt like, you know, we got to screen it and, and search these people. Take your, take your shirt off, see if you're wearing a wire. Pops, the fans is not trying to get you in this cell. You're in here selling a, a little half ounce of weed and a couple of some boxes and maybe a quarter ounce of that white girl, Christina Aguilera. Bitch, what they ain't doing that? Even with that dog food in here, whether you want that sand or you want that black tar. If you don't know what that sand or that black tar is, they let me know you ain't never been in the streets. And if you ain't never been in the streets, you know what I'm saying, to figure out what they're saying in their black ties, I advise you to never get into the streets. You know what I'm saying? So my pop didn't see something else I know about my pop. When he couldn't talk to baby, if they was into it or she was in work or he, you know what I'm saying, he will grab a little Sudoku. You know what I'm saying? That's how I knew he was getting old, too. Because all the people I seen doing Sudoku growing up was the older people. You know what I'm saying? It was it was something, you know what I'm saying? It was like a it was like that dead massage ball. It was a way, it was something that was therapeutic for them, you know what I'm saying, to take their mind off something that might have been stressing them out or causing anxiety. That's that, that was my read on it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting on the top box. I'm reading his book at the time. It's called Be Thinking Beyond the Fence. I don't know if it's still on Amazon or not, but if you want to check out my pop book, you can most definitely go check it out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm reading the chapter where he was discussing me, you know what I'm saying, and my brother, you know what I'm saying, get ready to go through the system. And then all of a sudden, dramatic effect me, please. He would ta 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 ta. And then time tiny to knock on the door, he'll go ahead and announce himself, announce himself too. Hey, Big Joe, it's tiny. I need to holler at you real quick. It's an emergency. My pops down there doing Sudoku, you know what I'm saying? And and he had he had to put his eyes on when he did that Sudoku, right? Yeah, I remember you used to wear them them thick them thick old them thick glasses your head. I remember pops if you watch this video. I I remember them magnifying glasses your head. He he, hey boo, he top on hey boo do do do. Get get the dough. <laughs> uh, he think flunky status is in effect, though. And he don't know I'm two steps ahead of him. I done put that rig in the door while he was at work. Hey, Tiny, it's over gone and come in. He pow. Man, bless his head. My daddy. Boy, why I told you about putting that rig in the door? Man, we is in the penitentiary. You act like you act like jack boys or something to run in here. What they what they gonna come in here and do, Daddy? They gonna come here and up the up the bush on us or something and come in here and tell, tell us to drop off the box. Man, nobody getting up nothing in here, man. You need to go on and sit down and chill, man. What's wrong with you? Man, man, I'm just saying, don't be rigging that door up like that. You know what I'm saying? You you go somewhere and I be gone. You forget to take that rig out, man. Somebody, man, they got the eye in the sky. This is not like back in the day. And if you think somebody finna run in here and then when we get here and we come out to the park, because you know I'm going to step out into the unit and say, hey, look, check this out. <laughs> I don't know who woke up this morning and, and, and realized that they had lost their mind in here. But uh, look, somebody done went in the cell and the uh, only thing they took out of here was a Reese's, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I I keep a count of the Reese's in here and I had to ask my pops had he ate one and I had not ate none. It was 12 in here, that's 11. Somebody need to replace that Reese's in here or the whole compound going on lockdown. I said, ain't nobody finna run in here, daddy, man, you is tripping. I said, well, what's going on with the timing? He said, man, y'all is crazy. He sit down on the toilet, right? When he sit down on the toilet, I already know what time it is. He finna try to, try to discuss some business. Then he always reaching in his pocket. When he reaching in his pocket, he think he better. I jump down. Hey, I know, I know. It's, you know, it's a no smoking in here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. But anyway, Big Joe, I wanted to come holler at you real quick. You know, them people that can't got off the off the train the other day. You know what I'm saying? Uh. One of them, you know what I'm saying? He 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 trying to spend about seven hundred. He trying to spend about seven hundred, Joe. And he get to doing this right here, right? He trying to spend about seven hundred. Trying to spend about seven hundred. I said, what you? What, I said, what you? Uh, you what you already done fronted it to him, ain't you, Tiny? I said, look at. I said, look at him, Dad. I said, you already done fronted it to him. Now you want my daddy to replace them some boxes? You know what I'm saying? So my daddy ended up taking a loss like he been doing with you for the last couple of months I've been here. Nah, 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 nothing like it, little Joe. Ain't nothing like it. I said, yeah, that's exactly what's going on. I said, cause every time you run over here, eventually it don't never fold out to be what you said it was gonna be. He was like, nah, nah, nah. He said, well, where? My daddy said, well, where he at? He said, I down there in the cell with me go. Which me go? You know what I'm saying? Because the Migos that we know, you know what I'm saying? They don't play no games. I'm surprised 
he even made it, you know what I'm saying, to go spend his money somewhere else because the Migos in North East most definitely had their hands in anything. So at this point, I'm already watching my daddy, you know what I'm saying? His man computing probably the same way as mine. We probably need it. If he trying to spend 700 right off the rip, it's probably that he done got here, he done got a little situated, done burp, got on somebody toy, told his people he was up here and now he ready to spend some money. He ready, to, and whoever he spend his money with first and doing right nine times out of 10, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's how he, that's, he gonna deal with them. So I already know Pops is thinking, oh, we most definitely need to go ahead and get him before anybody else get him. But see, did see my pops most definitely, I'm telling you, he most definitely thought he was connected to chop on them or something. I don't know what his penitentiary experience was. I'm pro I promise you, like, he want to screen people. I don't know what 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 that what that was about. He want to screen people, ask certain questions, what penitentiary did they come from? What penitentiary was you at before that? The, you know what I'm saying? Like, how long was you there? Listen, pops, I don't know if you a convict or the police. I don't know which one you is, but all of this questioning then he want to pat folks down, see if they got a wire on him. He doing this right here. Check, check this right here, boo. Check, check this right up in here in the, in the chest cavity. In the chest cavity? Yeah, yeah. You go down the spine and make sure. Man, pop the fit. Man, what is wrong with you? Ain't nobody finna do all that. You got your money. That, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's how it was. That's, that's how I'm doing it. So he was like, yeah, yeah. He down there with me going. So, 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 so. My dad is like, I will right, go on over and see what's up with him real quick. I look at my pop, pop look at me, me and pop look at each other. I said, what, so, so what you want me to, just go over, go over and see where he, where he come from. And you know what I'm saying? You already know, you already know, you don't, you know, just go over and see what's up with him. Make sure he's straight, make sure he's straight. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to have nobody running my cell. You, you, he said, you done seen 60 days in, ain't you? I said, dude, what? Scary straight, all that old type of stuff, them police shows and stuff that they be doing. You know, they send the folks into the penitentiary now. You know, he come in spending that kind of money as soon as he get to the compound. I don't know about him, boo. Just go over and just ask him to see what's going on with him, you know. If you could get his paperwork, get his paperwork. I said, yeah, yeah, you both definitely acting like you the police instead of a convict. They need to put you, listen to me, you need to get you some grades and take them blues out there. You is in here tripping. I said, but that what's up. I said, Tiny, go go put him in the cell, Tiny. When I see you walk over, you know what I'm saying, Tiny, oh, oh, that what's up, that what's Soon he get ready to walk out the cell, he... I said, you can't wait to smoke that cigarette, can you? My dad is flipped at Sadu. He said, boo, what time is it? Because they got the clock in the unit, you know what I'm saying? I'm already at the door, you know what I'm saying? The clock is in the corner of the unit, you know what I'm saying? I, and that's one thing I didn't like to do in the penitentiary. I, don't, I, I ain't no clock watcher, you know what I'm saying? Because it listen to me. My days is already long enough. <laughs> I don't like seeing what time it is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, what time is it, boo? I saw more ships saying, oh, yeah, baby done got off, baby done got off. What's wrong with you, daddy? You you I'm not act like it about talking to that girl. I'm just saying, baby done got off. He... Cause that's when we used to have the phone, you know what I'm saying? When Tiny they had a phone and we just had it in the cell, we had a, a like a little spot in a cause we used to be able to order the, the cases of drink, you know what I'm saying? I think it was the 12, the 12 pack, you know what I'm saying? We take out and somehow I own the we take out a couple of drinks, you don't open the box and stretch it all the way open. You just open the back of, you know what I'm saying? You pull the drinks out, and then you take the sock. Huh, you know what I'm saying? Make it fit almost like the size of a can. You put that in there and then you put the other drinks in there behind it. That way it seemed like it's a full case. Then you take the, the super glue and you put it back over the top. That way if they pick up the case of the other drinks, it looked like it ain't even been open. So they'll just bypass, you know what I'm saying? It was a couple of times, you know, we got away with that, but one thing for sure, two things for certain that was understood like the bar. If they find that drink, if they find that phone in that case of drinks, daddy, <laughs> they most definitely gonna know <laughs> you're going to the hole because you're gonna take that charge regardless of anything because I'm gonna go so far. I'm gonna go so far. You know, I'm a strategic dude. I'm a very calculated. You know what I'm saying? I'm very calculated. I had already made sure, look, daddy, you order all the drinks, you know what I'm saying? We need some drinks and I get them. I get somebody else to order them. I ain't order no drinks because, daddy, what you don't know, if I got to throw you under the bus, I'm gonna pull out my commissary receipt for the last two, three months. I don't even order drinks. That's gonna be, I'm not gonna say it was you. I'm not gonna say it was you. I ain't gonna tell them it was you. But when I'm at the D board and they asking me, well, who was it? Look, all I know is, look, here go my commissary receipt for the last two, three weeks. I work up at the wood plant. What you showing your commissary for? I ain't ordered no drinks since I've been here. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm gonna leave it at that. So I fade on out of the cell, close the door, right? Dude, I chill on the walk. I watched the cell tiny go down there and get him. Oh, he ain't there with one of them Migos that like to make them butchers. 
And he most definitely listen to him before a little small payment. Listen to him. He catch you, he catch you going through one of them blind spots. He most definitely will poke you. You know what I'm saying? He'll go on about his business. He'll get to talking that Spanish stuff, you know what I'm saying? And it'll sound way more gangster than somebody who's speaking English when he do it. And he tatted. He got the big tattoo on his head. You know what I'm saying? He do the little and when he say it, he, he most definitely got that fear factor. But he got that penchant fear factor. I ain't gonna have to say he gonna he most definitely make you feel like you know he gonna, he'll do it to you. So when he go, I said, oh yeah, we we might have to get him if he got some money like that. We are gonna have to get him out of the cell first and foremost. So he come out of the cell with the dude, right? First thing I know is about the you know what I'm saying he's a white dude now. Now I ain't racing. I'm just saying the the white dudes was always the one who was spending the money. So when the white boy come out of the cell, first thing I know was he got a fade. I said, I don't know where penitentiary come from or who hit him up. I said, he went to the barbershop. That ain't that ain't them little, that ain't the little clippers, you know what I'm saying, that they got that you can order with the clear jumps and put the batteries in, you know what I'm saying, where you, you trying to get you a quick taper and a quick lineup before you go to the VG. I said, oh, somebody done hit him with them walls. You know what I'm saying? He come out, he got the he a, he a red head, you know what I'm saying? And then when he come out, he had the J's on. I said, oh, yeah, he probably going to visit the man. So I'm looking. I said, okay, okay, okay. I said, yeah, yeah, he most definitely got some money. Then he got the penitentiary crease. You know, at this point, now the crease, you can still rock, but it can't be no heavy crease. It can't be the crease where you can stand your jeans all right. Because a lot of times, this had, it has shifted over to, you know, just straight leg, you know, iron. You know what I'm saying? But he still had the little penitentiary crease to the point where it wasn't stuck together, but you could tell. Because how many times they had been ironed, you know, it looked like the 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 bleach. It wasn't bleach, but you know, the color of the jeans had started fading out where the crease was at. So I said, oh, this this might be a real penitentiary cat right here. You know what I'm saying? Then he ain't just following up behind tiny real close like he just jumped out. I said, oh, this dude right here, he he most definitely he ain't getting that to get high. I said, oh, he getting that. He trying to get on. He finna start selling apes in here and quarters. He 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 think he slick. He he he'll end up being a competition in here. I said, oh, okay, 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 okay. So he faded on up to the cell, right? When then tiny holler, boo. You ain't, why you have to say my name for a time? You ain't have to do nothing more. Just wave me. Just just hit me like that right there. Then I know the fade on in there. You know, dude done walked on in the cell. You know what I'm saying? Because now I'm thinking, hey, you done told the dude, which he gonna know my name anyway. But I'm like, why you say my name for? Us? He, boo, come on, come on, come on, boo, come on, come on. I said, oh, okay. So I fade on. I walk my little bow leg tail on over there, right. I don't know why he closed the door. I was up. I read, pop, 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 tiny, big. Come on, come on, little Joe T. I walk in. Man, bless his ear. Hey, Tiny. Oh, you, you don't need to be calling me boo, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna say why, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't, you don't need to be calling me boo, you know what I'm saying? He was like, oh, my baby, you know, before you got here, you know, your dad used to call you boo all the time, you know what I'm saying? He said, I gotta get used to calling you little Joe T, you know what I'm saying? I've been calling you Jay, big Joe T, all this, this, and that. I said, yeah, 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 that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. I said, but then he said, man, uh, for some reason, before the conversation started, you know, trying to get the going in his pocket and doing all this and that, doing all that, and you know, he he get to talk about, you know, my daddy last selling for some reason. I can't remember, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, but that's it. Oh yeah, he was talking about me getting the door and stuff. He was like, man, don't take it personally. He was like, you know, your daddy was such 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 such. You know, you, you, he used to tell him this stuff, get the door too. I said, you ain't doing nothing, confirming. Why? I think he think, you know what I'm saying, I'm his flunk or something. I'm like, I don't, I don't answer those or nothing around here. I said, he was telling me about it last, Sally, you know what I'm saying? Before dude, whoever you talking about, I said, I ain't nothing like Dwight. He said, he said, he said, Dwight. He said, I don't, I don't remember him. He said, who was Dwight? I said, Dwight around your lips. <laughs> he said, man, quit playing with me, boy. Quit playing, quit playing with me. Quit playing with me, quit playing with me little Jones. See, little dude, he know I really want to play with you. You were here with this pink toe nine times out of ten. Y'all in here doing a six to nine. You might have that white around your lips sometime in real life. So I just, so he finally introduced me to the dude, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to dude, dude, talking about we converse. You know what I'm saying? We having a whole little conversation, whatnot, right? So I'm asking what penitentiary came from. He telling me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I came to such oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, I did some time out there before. I was like, man, you know, my homeboy, I was like, where, where, where you was at? On top of the hill? He was on the bottom of the hill. I, you know, I was on the bottom of the hill. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for him to stutter a little bit. I'm, I'm waiting for him because the penitentiary rules is in effect. You know, by the time I let him know I done been to the penitentiary where he was at, he need to understand that we got cell phones in here now. And you ain't nothing but a phone call away to verify anything that you about to say. 
So I'm most definitely letting him know we get, I'm giving him that kind of energy. I said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My homeboy was out there, you know, such and such. Did he very be like, yeah, yeah, that my boy he always got something going on. You know what I'm saying? It did though. His body, his mannerism, how he got to move and this stuff, right? You know, I said, oh, he most definitely a fan of the culture. You know what I'm saying? He gets the, yeah, man, yeah. I'm like, man, where you from? Where you from? Homie, where you from? He was like, man, you know, I'm from Vegas, man. Call Vegas, man. I said, are oh, you from Florida? Well, not really. I said, what you mean? Not really. You know what I'm saying? Ah, before I got locked up, you know what I'm saying? I had moved out there, you know what I'm saying? I was in Louisburg, you know what I'm saying? I moved out of, moved out to Clarville, you know what I'm saying? I said, ah, that was, I said, you familiar with the slab? Nah, nah, nah. You know, you know, I used to be over in New Providence, A and I did, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I ain't really just, I ain't gonna make it like I'm just a street dude or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? I really wasn't in the projects or nothing, but I know that's projects, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching, I said, oh, yeah, this one right here got a little swag about itself. I was like, but yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, how you, how you end up out here? Man, you know, I had been uh, trying to put in a transfer to go to another penitentiary, you know what I'm saying, for, for a while, you know what I'm saying? He was like, man, you know, they done burnt up the VG. I said, they burnt up the VG? He was like, yeah, man, you know, they start, you know, they got the little metal detector thing up there. You got to walk around the metal detector, you know what I'm saying? They start making you want to bend over and what, when you squat and cough, you know what I'm saying? He was like, you know, my point's low, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had a reclass in a while, you know what I'm saying? So I told I want to go to another penitentiary. So in my mind, I said, oh, he's a Packer. I said, oh, he's a Green Bay Packer. He's a cheesehead. I said, oh, he most de oh, he going up there, he going up there putting that belt, putting that bomb in him. He talking about they done, they done burnt up the VG. I know what that mean. You know what I'm saying? And nine times I tell you, I got an eye for a Packer. I know I know a VG Packer when I see one, he most definitely didn't strike me as one. He most definitely went under the radar. That's probably why he was getting out the way he was getting out. He probably going up for a clean cut white boy, you know what I'm saying? Fresh to death, got a little got the little J's on. You most definitely ain't assuming that this man going up for putting nothing in the middle of his body. But he just confirmed it. They burnt the VG off. So we said, no, you know what I'm saying? We get through time. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my guy told me, you know what I'm saying? You trying to spend some bread, right? He was like, yeah, 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 I got 700 on me right now. He pulled out two, three, he pulled out two, three green dots right off the bat, right? I was like, man, what you, he was like, man, I'm just trying to get a couple of supplies. He was like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, what they go for, this, this, and that, or whatever. He was like, but, uh, you know, I, I'm, I just, I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying? I was already trying to give me some bud, you know what I'm saying? Somebody finna give me some bud. He was like, man, I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying? And if somebody will cut me a deal, he was like, I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? I live out the land, you know what I'm saying? My people mess with me a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So if I can spend three, four hundred and somebody can give me a couple of days, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I can most definitely do the rest of them. I said, oh, so he, 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 he wanna, he wanna get a little front too, you know what I'm saying? He wanna buy something, he wanna get front, you know what I'm saying? He wanna get a hustle off, you know what I'm saying? He talking about, yeah, 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 I wanna eat, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get in where I fit in. I said, let me go over here. I said, oh, so I said, well, just give me a second real quick. I said, give me a second real quick. So I fade out of the city, right? I go over here. Pass the information back to El Chapo, my daddy. Hey, hey, Pop, I said, man, look up. He said, hold on, hold on real quick, babe. Hold on real quick, babe. He said, what's, what's, what's up? What are you talking about? I said, well, I went over there and him. You know what I'm saying? He said, uh, you know, he just tried to get a couple of boxes. He, he got a couple of hundred on him right now. You know what I'm saying? He finna buy some weed and this, this, and that. He was like, well, I ain't got no weed, boo. You know, I ain't got. I said, you ain't even let me finish. Like, what are you talking about? You ain't even let me finish. I said, man, he said, he, you know, he got three, four hundred right now. You know what I'm saying? You'll give him two, three days. You know what I'm saying? He'll shoot you the rest. He was like, man, uh, I don't know about that. He, I was like, no, nah, he, he seemed like he's straight. You know what I'm saying? He seemed like he's straight. I ain't gonna lie to you. He was like, well, I ain't. He was like, well, you gonna be responsible for that? I said, you know, that right up my alley. But I'm saying, you know, he playing the kind of games. You know, he a little short. You know, I ain't mad putting the penitentiary tax on him. He said, well, go on, do what you gotta do. He was like, yo, he was like, go on down there and get that out the shoe. Daddy, you, you, you sitting right there like the shoes, <laughs> the shoes right there. You, boy, you lazy, lazy. The shoes right beside you. I'm standing by the door. Get the get the suboxone out there. So he get this, he get the suboxone out, you know what I'm saying? I get him, you know what I'm saying? Then I sit and I thought for a minute. I was like, man, I don't want to walk back over. I ain't even tripping. I fade out. Boom. Tiny come out the cell. Him and dude, they they stand on the walk while I get right there. So I was like, I ain't gonna get directed to him. So as I fade back over, you know what I'm saying? I fade in the cell, dude. Was like he was like, what's up, everything good? I was like, yeah, let me holler at Tiny real quick. So we fade in the cell. I was like, look, yeah, right here, you know what I'm saying? I said, who, who are you getting the green from? He was like, I don't know. He was like, I'm trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying, if I can get some green and flip it real quick. And try to... I said, you're always trying to flip something, man. You're... And then you always broke. You always, I don't know what's wrong with you, Tiny. Well, well, you already know little Joe. Dillon. I said, come on about your pocket, man. I ain't gonna do no smoke while I'm here. This is the... Man, I'm just, did my sale, Joe T. Did my sale, little Joe. I said, what's up? So I faded on now. Tiny get his boy. 
this stuff, you know what I'm saying? We we we, we ain't tripping on giving them. I ain't tripping on giving two three days. You know what I'm saying? Cause this ain't my stuff anyway. You know, we did get a little bit of more than a little bit of half of the money up front. But see, this the thing, the Migo in the cell with. I'm telling you, he the man don't play no game. Couple of days go by, we ain't saying nothing to him about him owing no money. But the Migo done pulled up on Tiny and told Tiny that he done went around and got a little bit of something from everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's, that can go two. That can look two different ways. You had enough money to spend anything, but he did say he was trying to get his hustle on. So if he got a little bit of anything, he can't miss it. He will probably pay his debts. But it also looked like you finna round up some things, and you told me you was a Green Bay Packer now. You know, what I mean? it sounds like you know you'll pack yourself and you'll get all of this stuff and you'll go on to the back. See, it, 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 it can go both ways. So when he tells Tiny this, you know what I'm saying? Tiny fade on over to the cell, you know what I'm saying? He run the information down to my daddy. And as he talking to my daddy, you know, I raised I said, well, bro, I said, well, time out right quick. Come on, break me, please. I said, oh, uh, if you want to go get the book, the link is in the bio. Go to jtb3.org. If you ain't already supported the kid, you can go support the kid. You can get both of the books right now for 25. That's J tb3.org you can get both of the books on sale if you want to hear me narrate the book and you want it on uh you want it on audio you can also get that too the audio book is still on sale for five hours it's on my website jtb3.org and if you want to hear the rest of this story you're gonna to have to go get you a membership because this is where the rest of it is rolling and for everybody who's saying that i'm petty and this is hey this is business ain't nothing personal but look check this out <laughs> so, so, so when he running, when he running this down to my pops, I said, "Man, hold on, Dad." I said, "Hold on, Rick, we tight." I said, "Not to, not to, uh, cut you off or nothing." I said, "Dad," I said, "Uh, I'm at the part of the book where you talking about uh, me and me and brother, right? Me and my trans." He was like, "Yeah, what about it?" I said, "Well, uh, right here, it read that, um, uh, it's sad that I'm gonna end up getting out." Before my son, I jumped down. I said, well, uh, who, who you were talking about right there? He said, oh, well, you know, boo, that was, that was before you took your time, you know. I, I, he said, I ain't going to lie. I said, so all of them letters you wrote me and all the stuff that you were saying, encouraging me, talking about everything going to be all right. You actually thought them folks were finna give me a life sentence. He's like, you know, I ain't going to lie. I said, well, why you still put that in the book? Because clearly I'm getting out before you. I got 10 years, and then plus the one. I got 11 years at 30%. Uh, I'm going to leave for you to edit that and let them know you thought. You need to say, uh, I thought at one point in time that my son was going to get a lot of time, and I would probably be in getting out before him. But the most high blessed him, and he ended up with a very uh, small amount of time, and he will be getting out way before me. So I'm going to need you to, yeah, 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 you most definitely need to call the editor. I don't know. We, we don't need to keep that in now. We don't need to keep that in. But anyway, go ahead, Ty. Go ahead, Ty. Ty said, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, man, um, Migo came and hollered at me and said that um, dude been going around, you know, getting a lot of stuff from everybody, you know what I'm saying? He was like, you know, he ain't he ain't sold nothing. He, ain't, he just, you know. And my pop said, what you what you think he trying to do? He was like, I don't know. I was just hollering at you, you know what I'm saying? And then he said something about, you know, he been, doing, he been going out and hollering at the counselor every day. My pop was like, oh, I'm cool with the counselor. He was like, man, go holler at house for me. House, kitchen crib, you know what I'm saying? He was in a corner cell, like two cells down from us, right? He in the corner, the big boy corner cell, you know what I'm saying? You get two blankets when you're in the corner cell. So he'd go down there, you know what I'm saying? Because we used to get the extra blankets from house, you know what I'm saying? Because house, you know, he'll tell them, you know, that, that somehow his blankets get lost down in, in the laundry room. Somebody must have stolen his blanket. So he in the corner cell, so they give him his blanket back. So that was his penitentiary hustle. He was selling blankets, you know. I give him $10 for, a little, for one of them penitentiary blankets, you know what I'm saying? So house come to the cell, he's like, man, uh, I need you to do me a favor. He's like, ah, right, what's up, Big Joe? What you need me to do? My daddy reached down there and grabbed his shoe, right? When he grabbed the shoe, I said, I know he ain't finna pull out no boxing in front of him. What is he doing? He was like, man, uh, and he pulled out the boxing. I said, oh, here, here. Oh, yeah, he most definitely taking all the charges. He was like, man, I'm give, he was like, man, I'm give you a half. He was like, I need you to go down there and let the council. Because he was the house was real cool with the council. He was like, oh, what's going on? He was like, man, I need to go down there and figure out, you know what I'm saying? Because he, me go, you know, I got some bidding going on with somebody, dude down there. He been down there. I don't know if he been trying to move or what he been trying to do. He was like, man, if you can, you know, go down there and holler. At, you know what I'm saying? Holler. He was like, oh, I just seen him look like he was walking out. You know, so going. He said, go down there real quick. So house fade down there. When he walked in the council, I was just so happened coincidentally 
The dude is walking out and the counselor mumbled under his breath. Cause let me tell you something about some of them counselors and some of them officers. They will put you on blast. If you shake it, if you are checking, if you play in these reindeer penitentiary games around here, they will put you in the blender. I promise you it was like some of them was affiliated. They gonna get you a violation. They pump the people gonna punch on you. Keep on playing with them if you want to. Go in there and disrespect them counselors. They most definitely people like House when he walk in, he say, hmm, check in. Man, listen. House get the information. Dude been talking about he don't feel safe in the unit. He don't want to go and get what the council said. Well, you know you're going to have to go down there and tell the captain or somebody, and you're going to have to give them a name. See, that's the thing about checking in and continuing. You got to give them somebody a name that's bothering you, that's threatening you, making you feel like your life in danger. And if you don't give them somebody a name, them folks not going to check you in. Now, the scary thing about that is you'll end up on pending investigation because you got people like him who will see that this is the situation. And next thing you know, you they. What's going on? Oh, we got the surgeon said real quick. You know, such and such checked in under your name. Who? Check the such and such said you tried. You said you were going to. You were going to hit him up. If you, I don't even deal with dude. And them folks will get them folks your name. And before you know it, and the Migo done already said, he done went around, got all this stuff from everybody, clean cut. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody assuming none of this stuff. So when Hal's come back and tell my daddy about it, my daddy said, I appreciate that, Hal. He won't hit him with another half. <laughs> so now we got to get in front of everything. You know what I'm saying? And I say we because I already know nine times out of ten, he finna try to use my brain. And he gonna want me to, you know, take care of the business, right? So he tell me, we'll go over and get tiny real quick. So I go over and hide. Tiny, he tell Tiny, he said, Tiny, look, go uh, go get you some of them them clinic gloves. I'm thinking to myself, the clinic, clinic gloves, the blue shots? What do you, what do you need the clinic uh, latex gloves for? Like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Because I did inform my daddy that he was a Green Bay Packer, right? So, you know, that, that that's kind of a thought. He said, and then after you get the gloves, he said, go down there and get old boy and tell him I need to highlight him. Because dude, he done said that he basically been trying to check in, which was the initial thought. He gathered and all of this stuff, and he think he going to go on down there to the hole. So time to go down there and get him. He don't know what's going on. Get what? I don't put them penitentiary tins on. And I ain't talking about the ones you go to the VG in. I put the ones on that got the tongue kind of flapping, and the sides of them, and then the back of it, it's, it's, it's done started to crack up right here on that plover that go on the back of that, that whatever that is they put right there on the little brown part. Because I've been down there, you know what I'm saying? And I and, and it looked like, you know what I'm saying, a bunch of dirt and dust on them because I've been down there, you know, busting up that rack, you know what I'm saying? 10 cents a 10, 225, you know what I'm saying? Don't touch the rack, hold on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm down here killing them. So I don't put them on right there because we're going to put feet on him and let him come in here and lie. We're going to put feet on him at 933 right here in the seal, right here. I promise you, and it's going to be quiet as ever because Tiny going to grab him. I'm going to put him down on the ground. Ain't going to be no squeaking or none of that. Not like you hear in the penitentiary. We're going we're gonna to deal with it very quietly, softly, like the mob. You ain't going to realize what happened. Then we're going to hit him with body shots. That way, ain't nothing on his face. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no bruises on him, none of that. And we're going to let him walk on up out of the cell like ain't nothing happened. We ain't done nothing to him. And then we're going to tell him, go down there in your cell before you go anywhere. You go chill for a minute with your cell and go chill somewhere else. That way, if you try to tell them to go watch the camera, you came out of my cell two, three hours ago. Two, three hours. We're going to watch you. We're going to watch you. Don't think you can go to the hole and get away because we'll send people back there to the hole too. Because that's just how the pit, <laughs> that's just how the pit did go. So the boy come up to the cell, right? And I, I ain't going to lie to you. You know, this, this is the part where, you know, I, I really hadn't changed my life, you know, so my mind. So I'm kind of excited to see how my pop finna deal with this because he ain't asked me to deal with it yet, right? So dude come in the cell, he pop. Man, bless this said, what's going on with you, Big Joe? Ah, uh, man, Big Joe, he, 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 he on first name basis and anything. My pop, ah, what's going on with you? He like, ah, what's up, what's up with you, little Joe? What you got going on? I ain't doing nothing, wait for him to call Jim. He said, ah, he said, ah, yeah, you going down there hooping tonight? Ah, you already know, you know what I'm saying? Go down there, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to shoot to be no captain, you know, because I'm going to be first pick. Ah, yeah, you got a little game on you, Joe T. Ah, yeah, ain't no doubt, you know what I'm saying? The Iverson cross, so he got it from me. I don't know where, I don't know how he ended up watching it, but he more definitely got that, huh, he more definitely got the cross over me. He like, oh, that was up, so kind of close the door, right? Boom. Dramatic effect me, please. The whole mood change. Penitentiary rules in effect. He said, man, uh, you trying to check in. I said, that I ain't even waste no time. That's what I like to see right there. He said, what you talking about, Big Joe? He said, oh, I got a friend of mine, you know what I'm saying, there, you know what I'm saying, pretty cool with a couple people down here, you know what I'm saying, your name been ringing, said you've been running around here getting a whole bunch of stuff, you know what I'm saying, you don't went down there and uh, you've been trying to tell the counselor that you don't want to be in the unit, you ain't trying to move nowhere else, you know what I'm saying, I guess, I guess that means, you know, you're trying to check in. 
He was like, ah, oh, he was like, nah, nah, I ain't doing nothing like that. He said, Tiny, you got them gloves. He turned around and looked at Tiny. Tiny looked at him, him and Tiny looking at each other. Tiny, he ain't reaching for no cigarette this time. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, I got him right here, Big Joe. He said, put them gloves on. He, like, he done been to medical school or something. I said, look at him. Okay, okay Dr. Jekyll. I said, okay. He said, man, what's going on, Big Joe? My dad grabbed him. He said, now, he said, now my own boy, you know what I'm saying? Now, now my guy been locked up 30 plus years, you know what I'm saying? He ain't mad. He, he, he ain't tripping on doing no cavity search. When he say that, I said, cavity search? What, 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 hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait a minute, man, what, what you trying to say? He finna, he finna reach up in that boy? <laughs> like, what you, a cavity search? What you mean, like, like a, a colonoscopy? I said, oh, my daddy, no, really, daddy. He's, he's, this is beyond me. He said, oh, hold on, hold on, Big Joe. He was like, no, nah, ain't nothing like that. Tiny said, hold on. He said, turn around this way. I said, turn around. Hold on, Tiny. <laughs> you look too excited about reaching up in this man now. He said, now, now, he said, now, what we ain't going to do, he was like, ain't nobody going to check in with nothing to mind. He was like, how have I got to get mine back? I'm willing to get mine back. He said, boo, come over real, real quick. I said, oh, okay. I said, you know, Dad, I ain't doing no uh, colonoscopies or nothing like that. You know, I, I ain't doing no cabinet surgery. You do know that, right? He said, no, 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 ain't nothing like that. He said, pat him down real quick. You could have did that. You already got my... That was a... Excuse me real quick. Huh? In his sock, where his pant, you know, it's a little buzz right there. I pulled a pen leg up. <laughs> Reached down in the sack. Pow. I said, I ain't got no little... I said, here you go right here, Dad. He said, I'll go and open it up. Dude, dude, hand me one of them rays over on the shelf, dude. Pop, pop it open. He got some boxes in there, white girl in there, dog food in there, weed in there, tobacco in there. He got everything that you could think of. I said, oh, he got a little bit of everything here, dude. He said, man, what's up? He said, you want to pay my money or you want to give it back what I paid for? What? How we going to do this? He said, we ain't doing no check in. He was like, oh, no, nah, man, I want to go get your money. He said, you know what? Matter of fact, because I knew you were going to check in. He said, Tiny, oh, all this paid. Tiny said, what you mean? I'm going to let you deal with him. I'm going to take this right here. Everything you owe me, we're going to consider that paid because you the one brought him to me. So I'm, I said, he said, man, come on, Big Joe. He was like, man, I owe the Crips and the Vice Lords. He said, that ain't got nothing to do with me. He said, because I'm going to call him up here and I'm going to tell him you were trying to check in. Now, as far as where they stuff went, <laughs> I'll never speak on it. He said, but I'm going to go. He said, I ain't got to. He said, uh, I got a homeboy now. He kitchen. You know what I'm saying? He cool with the counselor. I said, hey, once he come in here and verify what was going on, he said, they're going to take my word for it. Now, where everything went, ain't got nothing to do with me. Tiny, that's paid. He said, man, come on, Big Joe, man. They ain't gonna, I ain't going to have no choice but to go to the base. And Tiny, hey, go, go on and get him up out of here. He said, Tiny, take the gloves. I said, all right, all right. I know I said, no, ain't no that's paid for Tiny. What you wish still want that money? Well, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, because if you ain't from the front or give me what you just took from dude, you know what I'm saying, after you done threatened him with a colonoscopy up in here, that ain't that ain't working for me, daddy, like, ain't no, no, we could take that and get that from Tiny, like, what is you doing? So he walked out of the cell, I said, man, why would you tell Tiny his debts is paid? Like, what is wrong with you? I'm just saying, hey, we, we don't, you know, it is what it is. I said, well, I'm going to take this bullet. Oh, yeah, how much is it? I said, look, I about a quarter. Oh, I need my 250. 